Hey, what's up, Mr. YouTube? Today I'm gonna show you guys how to install iFile to your iOS device without using jailbreak, and we're gonna do that in just a sec. So first, an introduction real quick about the iFile. It's not gonna be, of course, such powerful as you can get it after the jailbreak because, of course, the device is not gonna be rooted, but still you're gonna be able to access a lot of files, a lot of folders that you cannot access using other way. So to install the iFile, we need, again, a CD Impactor and just go ahead to this site right here. I'm gonna have all the links in the description below, so don't worry about it. Go First, to cdimpactor.com, download the software depending on what system you're on, either Mac, Windows, Linux, and so on. In my case, right here is going to be on Windows. Click on it, save it, and uh, unzip it. Then, the second thing we need to get is the IPA file for the i file, which I'm going to give again a link in the description. So it's going to be on Mega. Just click on this gray button right here, it's going to start downloading. save it on your computer and this is it for now so as I said unzip the CD impactor zip file I have it unzipped right here and unzip the IPA file Here it is now connect your iOS device to your PC or Mac or whatever using the cable check if you have the latest version of iTunes install otherwise it's not CD impact is not gonna work so for that go to help check for updates and it's current now double click on impactor and drag the IPA file to it Login with your iTunes email and password. And we're gonna get an error right here. This error means we're using the two way verification for iCloud, so it's an easy fix. What you need to do is go to appleid.apple.com, log in here. Click on generate password, type in any password you like, doesn't matter, enter. And this is going to be the password that you're going to use for CD Impactor. Just copy it, click on OK for this error, and again, drag the IPA file to the CD Impactor. Log in again with your iCloud email, and for your password, use this password that you got right here. So I'm going to click on Pass. Hit OK. And as you can see right now, everything loads up. Now we're gonna hide this real quick and let's go to our device. So as you can see, you already gonna have it installed. Now what you need to do is go to settings, then general, then profiles and device management. Under your iTunes email down there, you're gonna hit on trust, again trust. Now go back to the app, launch it, and everything works. So now you can access some files that you couldn't before. That's it guys, if you liked the video, click the like button, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Peace!